Hello and welcome to this YouTube video. Today I'm going to show you the Arabian mate. This checkmating pattern is considered to be one of the oldest. At least it is the earliest on record. Um, this is because reforms were made to the powers of most of the other pieces uh, in the 15th century so and only the rook and knight and king um, which you see in this position uh, have always moved the same way as they do today so um, see it's in this position it's mate in one checkmate um, it's a very useful pattern for the end game and late middle game when you've got all these open files and ranks so it's very useful open files and ranks okay um this was made in one this is when the king king is in the corner which doesn't happen very often so um i'm going to show you made in uh oh, oh when the king is in more in the middle okay this is a position where it's basically the same note that the king cannot go here or here so of his own pawns um, the knight is protected by the pawn uh, and the knight protects this square in this square and the rook here the whole um, eighth rank so uh, and the pawn also this field so the only thing we need is the king to be checked and we achieve this this way okay enough t theory now more um, okay I want to I want you to find out the, uh, the pattern here it's very similar to the one before stop the videos think about it and okay I'm back um, as you see here got this uh, rook that can come that can go to the 8th rank just the same way as the pattern before but there is a queen in, in his way and if you've got the rook on the 8th rank and nothing and and basically these pieces are still blocking the king and this is happening then the only thing you have to do is um, sacrifice your queen so you go here king takes it and you check him the only square he can go is g7 and now you can checkmate him so it checkmate in three. Um, first, you sacrifice your queen, then check, checkmate. Okay, in this position, it's mate in three. However, it's not a forced mate, but um, and you're gonna see why. I'm gonna show you the, the other variations. Uh, by the way, it's black. <laughs> I will flip the board. Okay. Mm. Stop the videos. Thinking through. Find uh, the variations. Okay. I'm back. First move is. Well, first of all, you see 
this rope can go here and checkmate here. Yeah. So uh, he could. This rope could, if there wasn't this rook on a1, which protects all the first rank. So we have to remove that rook, sacrificing the queen. Uh, okay, so the knight takes. Um, now, rook, do you want? And white sees this checkmate here and cannot do anything about it. So, the move of desperation and checkmate. Mm, however, in this position, instead of moving with the pawn, uh, white could have tried. Um, you see, this um, knight allows the rook to go onto g1 and checkmate. So, white could have just sacrificed queen and And white would have lost, um, no matter what it would do, it would lose. It would lose, so um, it's really worth knowing this pattern. Okay, thank you so much for... I oh, know, sorry, sorry, I've got another one for you. Okay, here it is. Um, it's checkmate in three. Or it is not forced again, I think. Okay, we're gonna find out together. Uh, and by the way, it's my white to move and stop the videos. Find out the pattern and solve the problem. Okay. Um, you have to imagine the, the ideal thing is having your rook on e1, going then to e8, checking so that the king escapes to g7 and then you go to g8 and check me. Um, so this is kind of your dream position and you've got, well first of all you've got to go to the um, first rank or to do that. Okay and in this position as you see um, the black bishop on f1 is threatened and Let's say he goes to a6, which is better than um, e2, but I'm gonna not tell you now why this is so. I'm gonna show it to you later. Now, rook e1, and basically, um, black has lost the game now. So, rook e1, and now black has lost. So move of desperation, rook e8, check, only square for the king, checkmate. Okay, I'm gonna show you why um, e and after rook c1, after rook c1, bishop to e2 could have be seen for black as bad, because um, Rook c, eight check. Uh, let's say king a seven. If he goes to g uh, seven, then it checkmate. Um, so and as you see, the uh, there is a skewer on the king and the bishop. So only square for the king and the bishop is lost. So. Obviously, it's better than a checkmate, but it's still a lost game. 
Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. So remember, Arabian Mate, it's like that. And have fun with it. Goodbye. Cheers.